She's wrong, is she? All oh, right. Oh, la femme la femme la. Oh, you're going to become a comedian. You're going to send away for a how to be funny pack from the internet. <laughs> you're a comedian. <laughs> That's something you're not going to see anytime soon. You, favorite little god go. Tom, baby, come on. Now, how fast was that delivery? You know what? I think being the cross basketball champion has made me even quicker. Where'd you get that candy floss? From the cowboy. He's selling it outside. Really? Yeah. Come and see. See him there? Yeah. Harry. Has anyone noticed anything different about the crust today? Um, there aren't any customers. Uh, it's been like this for an hour now. It's great! That's terrible. That cowboy is stealing all of our customers. But people love our pizzas. Mm. They're not going to stop coming in here because they can get candy floss out there. Are they? Me! 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 And I won this trophy for breaking blocks of ice with my head in Kung Fu class. <laughs> really? Well, didn't it hurt? Well, yes. But after the first couple of goes, the ice makes your head go numb. Where have all my customers gone? Maybe you should go up and investigate. OK, Tom. You're the boss. No, you are, Flossie. Excellent. On the way up? I'll show you some of my winning kung fu moves, like this. What is the meaning of this? Oh, uh, howdy there, old timer. Name's Cowboy Keith. This here's my humble candy floss stand. Less of the old timer if you know what's good for you, skinny. You can't sell candy floss outside my pizza place. Will, I done got me here this per might, say as I done can't sell my candy floss anywhere as I so decide. Okay. I didn't understand most of what you said, but the bits I did, I didn't like. Now move this pile of rush from here this instant! Afraid I won't be going nowhere, little lady. Is it? We'll see about that! <laughs> Giving the cowboy the stare. Yeah, she's been giving him that stare for nearly an hour now. And nobody except Ellis has ever been able to stand Grandma's stare for more than like five minutes. Does Flossie stare? Sorry to interrupt, but could I get some ice cream? Afraid I don't sell that there, little partner. How about a lovely pizza? Pretzels? Nope. A lovely half price pizza? Toffee apples? Nope. A lovely free pizza. Candy floss. No. Mm, oh, wait a minute. Yep. Great. It's just what I wanted. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. Right. This means war. You mess. 
mess with the wrong pizza lady. Skinny boy! Right! I've called this emergency meeting because we need to come up with promotional ideas to get our customers back. Everybody give me an idea. Angel? What? Why me? Okay then, Archibald. Now hear me out. I do have an idea. It may seem a bit unusual at first, but... Does it involve a laser by any chance? Just a small one. Forget it! Desperate times call for desperate measures. Elvin, hurry up so I can reject your idea and get on with the rest of my day. Uh, uh, I could learn how to juggle. And how is that going to help us sell more pizzas? Oh, is that what we was talking about? Sorry, I wasn't paying attention at the start. Yet another terrible idea from Elvin. Thank you very much. I got another one. I was afraid you would. Go on. How about we beat the cowboy at his own game? I actually like what I'm hearing. Keep going. We invent the candy floss pizza. Congratulations, Eric. You've just rocketed back to the top of the worst ideas league. Cool. Think again. Nobody leaves until we get a good idea. Okay, time's up. Archibald, Angel, I want an idea from you right now. Oh, uh, well, well, we, we, we could... Ah, oh, this is gonna be good, I can tell. <laughs> yeah. Well, we could give... We're gonna give away a prize. Oh, that's brilliant, Archie. What are we gonna give away? A gold star, a gold medal, a gold bracelet. What? We could do a Willy Wonka chocolate factory thing and, and give away a golden ticket. Well, that's exactly it. We could give away a gold ticket, just like Willy Wonka did. Right. Someone could be on a tour around the crust. Yeah, here's the kitchen, here's the storage room, and here's the goat. Oh, thanks for coming. No, we give away a year's supply of pizza to the lucky person who finds a golden ticket in their pizza box. <laughs> that sounds like a lot of free pizzas to me. It'll work, Grandma. You gotta spend money to make money. Is it? Okay then. But if it doesn't work, I'm holding all three of you responsible. What? I had nothing to do with his stupid idea. You were there when he had uh, it. That's good enough for me. Crust giveaway is gonna be big. Crust is giving away free pizza to whichever customer find the golden ticket. That's right, free pizza for a year. You heard me right, crust is that way. Pizza is healthy and nutritious, unlike candy bars. Look how skinny I'm gonna help you the cow waste. Come on, go with this way. Come on. Darn it. All my customary is diggity dung gong go. <laughs> We're giving away a year's supply of pieces to whoever finds the lucky golden ticket. But you've got to be in it to win it. It's going to be big. Hello, welcome to the class table with the golden ticket. How can I help you? Five babies. Okay, that will be with you in 50. Bye. Right, I've got three Hawaiians to go. They're mine. I've got one. I've got one. Calling all delivery crew, I've got seven tuna surprises going to Barnet. Can anyone deliver them? Where are you? It's golden ticket day. Ah, oh, gee. I'm just going past big. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Maybe we could sample the chimes for the tune. Ah, uh, they're kind of getting on our nerves already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Forget it. Favor, could you pretend that I'm not your girlfriend? But well, you're not my girlfriend. Oh, perfect. Thanks so much. Look, I, I'm, I know this will be really hard for you. Uh -huh. Not as hard as you think. <laughs> <laughs> Look, this flower about the golden ticket competition says you can't enter if you're related to or going out with the Quest employee. Mm -hmm. So, if you pretend we aren't together, that would be perfect. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's so exciting. I'm going to win. And mm. then, they won't be able to ban me from the crust anymore. Oh. And we can be together forever. Oh, <laughs> that certainly is something. Uh, go, go! <laughs> Just say, Callis, you and me! Together forever! <laughs> forever! Hey, what's up?
What's up, Forever. Forever. Together. Forever. What's wrong with you, mate? Calm down. Me. Melanie. Together. Forever. Forever! <laughs> Thanks. Happy to help. All right, now what's wrong? We've got big trouble, Archie. Melanie's gonna try and win the golden ticket so she can get around being banned. Then she says we're gonna be together forever. Forever! Uh, forever! Uh, forever! Uh, Melanie is not allowed in the crust, and even if she was, she can't buy every pizza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Free It's okay, pumpkin baddie, we'll get it for you. Oh, we'll just leave daddy a couple of moments, Snowdrop. Oh, hey, can I have, uh, what, 98 pizzas, please? Are you Melanie's dad? Yeah. And you? <laughs> you must be Alice. Hey, nice yeah. to meet hey. you, son. <laughs> okay, now you're in trouble, mate. <laughs> yeah, the nice people are going as fast as they can, sweetheart. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, my Melanie tells me she's barred from being in here. Why is that? Take a wild guess. Oh, I want my ticket! I want my ticket! But she's a nice girl deep down. She hides it well. Right, everybody out. What? We're closing. Yeah, but... Come I, then, please. You, you Bye. still owe me 43 Excuse pizzas. Me. There's the door. I say, you still owe me 43 pizzas. Well, you're going to have to get them in the morning, isn't you? I could really do with them right now. Yeah, but we're closing. Come on. See what she can do to a block of ice. Hold your horses there, partner. You done won this here hold down fair and square. I'll be moseying along on out of here as soon as I done get myself one of these here pizzas with a special sauce I ding down done here so much about. I'm sorry, what? He says once he gets his pizza, then he's gonna leave, go out of town. What? Pick this pick up at the library. You want to speak cowboy? Cool. All right, so what would you like? Reckons I'll have me one of these here hot and spices here. It's just mighty tasty. He said. Hot and spicy? Yeah, yeah, I got that. Okay, that is one hot and spicy. Much obliged, the kind sir. And here are your last 13 pizzas. <laughs> you. uh, you're right. Hey! hey. Melanie. Yeehaw! Name's Cowboy Keith. I got me the golden Unlucky ticket. People. Yes, sir. I got me the golden ticket. Well, at least the cowboy's as skinny as a rake. It's taken about a year to eat one pizza. Uh, uh. That is just nasty. Mm -hmm. This is your 11th pizza in one hour. Just getting warmed up there, young lady. For my number 12, I reckon I'll have me one of these here veggie Supremos. Bring it on. You are a disgusting, greedy pig. Do you know that? Two. Ooh. Come on, Flossy. One more. No pain, no gain. Feel the burn. I'm burning. I'm burning. Oh, oh great workout, Flossy. Oh, oh. That senior citizen bodybuilding championship is in the bag. I know. <laughs> How's everything going upstairs? Well, the good news is that we've sold a record amount of pizza in the last few days. Oh, that golden ticket idea of mine was a stroke of genius. It really was. Well done, Flossy. What's that cowboy doing in the crust? Ah, uh, yeah. The bad news is he found a golden ticket and uh, he's eating you out of your house and your home. This is all Archibald's fault with his stupid golden ticket idea. Archibald, 
just so you know. Every pizza that Cowboy eats will be added to your pizza list. So you better get rid of the Cowboy fast! Uh. You know, I've been thinking. Surely after eating all these pizzas, you must be worried about your weight. Nope, see, I played that there basketball. ball. Keeps myself in shape. Really? Well, how do you fancy a game of basketball with a crust best player? We really reckon that'd be a hoot. <laughs> how about tomorrow morning? Great, great. Well, let's make a deal. If we win, you give up your year's supply of free pizzas. And if I win? Well, tell you what, I couldn't help but notice that darn fine goat you got over there. I reckon if I could learn that there goat how to dance, I'd uh, sell me a darn sight more of that Canada floss. Could you please translate this nonsense? He says he wants to take Missy and turn her into a dancing goat. I can't really give up the goat. OK, deal's off. Three more margaritas, please. All right, then, Cowboy Keith. You got yourself a deal. If you win, you get yourself the goat. I'm looking forward to it. I hear that uh, Ellis is quite the player. Ellis? <laughs> now, now, I'm the crust best basketball player, bruv. But Ellis beat you fair and square, and he is the reigning champion. So, officially, he is the best player. And I'm truly looking forward to playing him. No! No! You bully! Okay, Ellis, I want you to relax. Close your eyes and listen to my voice. Okay, repeat after me. I, Ellis, am king of the court. I, Ellis, am king of the court. Who's the best? I am. Who's gonna win? I am! I'm the greatest. I'm unbeatable. I'm like... Godzilla or basketball? That cowboy ain't gonna be able to touch me. Get it I think you're ready. Presenting the unbeatable Emperor Ennis King of the Crust is here to play ball. Do you not think maybe I overdid it a bit? Come on now, he is ready to rock and roll. There's no way that Cowboy Keith is going to get another slice of pizza or I'll go. <laughs> Ellis, uh, you don't stop. <laughs> OK, OK, gentlemen. We all know the rules. First to ten wins. Now, I want a good, clean game. Are we both set? Yeah! Yeah. Let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> Missy the goat. 
Come and get the ball. Come and get the ball. I gotta get the ball. Here I go. Why? Why? <laughs> Don't even look at me, Missy. There's my prize. Bad luck, little boy. Hey, now let's you and me get ourselves a pizza, little goatee pony. Missy. Mind your head. <laughs> oh. my crown. It's okay, mate. Yeah. Chin up, bruv. Thank you. It's your kingdom. Yeah. It's your kingdom. Uh. Well, I reckon I have made my meaty feast. My dancing goat here will have the same. Tell you what, Retton, you better make these ones to go. To go? What to go? Well, didn't I mention the fine folks of Milton Keynes are having their shells a humongous fear and ain't got no dancing goats. So me and Missy here are gonna pack up our troubles and head on out of here. He, 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 he says he's taking Missy to a fair in Milton Keynes and making her dance her little hooves off forever. You know, Missy never really let on, but I reckon she really liked me. She did bite you. Yeah, well, it was never really a hard bite. It was more like a, an affectionate nibble. You see, this one time, right, she ate, like, my whole, my whole bite clock. But it wasn't a very good lock, so she was probably looking out for my safety. You know? Well, no matter how much we're going to miss her, Grandma is going to be ten times worse. She's always treating Missy like part of the family. Who's Grandma's favourite little baby? <laughs> That's right. You are. You three could learn a lot from Missy, eh? Hey, my darling, look at you. Well, it's awful nice y'all come and see me off. I become mildly attached to you folks, too. <laughs> Listen, you and Missy can't leave Cowboy Keith. I've, I've made you a special pizza. A cowboy pizza. Well, never mind that there, partner. Me and my goat here will eat when we done get gotten to our new home. Um, we'll, we'll turn the crust into a Wild West theme park and you can be sheriff. Woo there now, little lady. See, being a sheriff would be mighty fine, but uh, the trail's calling me and this here dancing goat's names. Wait, cowboy Keith, uh, you was going to teach me how to rope a steer. I don't know where it is, but it sounds good. Some other time there, partner. Take care now, you hear? <laughs> you were all ready. Let it go. Let it go, Angel. Let it go. <laughs> Missy's gone. Gone! And it's all my fault. Ah, no, it wasn't, bruv. <sighs> what are we gonna tell Grandma? You know how much she loves that goat. Missy? 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 Missy! Maybe it's another go. Thank you. No, it's our one. <laughs> and, and, oh, there's a note. <laughs> Dear ye all, the goat done get very upset on the trail. I reckon she was homesick. So I done send her back home. You'll compare how we keep What's going on here? Well? Nothing. Well, get back to work then. And Missy needs a wash. Whose turn is it? His turn. Him. 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 Who goes free? Who's the governor? <laughs> the best acts on the block are ready to break out. Flabbergasted. Watch out for them on CBBC. Excellent, sir. The all-new Slammer, Fridays at 4.35 CBBC on BBC One. I thought you were into comedy now. Okay, all right. 
I suppose Mr. Couch Show is unintentionally funny. What's in your magic ball then? What can you see? Doctor Who is next on BBC Three. Oh, okay, what episode? The Christmas Invasion. Oh, yeah. right, what happens in that episode? Doctor Who fights a cabbage and Rose Tyler marries a dog. Right, well, yeah, look out for that on BBC Three. We'll see you tomorrow at 3.25 when Ed and Idiot, I mean, Ed and Out Show, return! Mm.